Do you fish at night? Do you need to use markers? Well, I've got a dollar store solution to your problem. Stay tuned. In an earlier video, I talked about using bottles, plastic bottles like this, with paint inside as buoy markers during the daytime. Well, Blizzard wrote me and said, hey, what do you got for those guys of us that fish at night? Well, I've got a dollar store solution, but before we get to that actual solution, we need to make one of these at least waterproof because one of the solutions requires using something you don't want to get wet. So let's get into that first and then we'll move to the dollar store. You can use a big container or a small container. Now on the big container, you may want to attach that to a large piece of poly rope and use the dollar store solution that does not require the inside to be waterproof. I like using the smaller container with a smaller hole with 50 pound mono that I'm going to show you how to hook up to make it waterproof because a small hole is a lot easier. So the first step is to get the mono through there and have a connector underneath that you can attach a thick cord to because that's not going to tangle as much as just a big blob of 50 pound mono. I cut off a piece of the 50 pound mono and basically I'm just going to tie a surgeon's loop which is basically just two overhand knots. One, two. And that's going to give me a nice loop down here at the bottom. Then I'm going to take the tag end and I'm going to run that through the small hole I drilled. I want to get that as tight as I can. Let me cut off this tag end here. So I pull that as tight as I can and then I'm just going to tie an overhand knot and try and slide that down as close to the cap as I can get it. And now you can see that that's not going to go through. So now it's time to do the waterproofing. To get this little hole filled in, what I've done is I've put some epoxy in here and I'm kind of tapping it around the hole. And now I'm going to pull that overhand knot tight by hanging a weight underneath this. And I'll just put this in the corner of a drawer and then it will lay flat and dry and be sealed. You don't want to get anything into the threads because you won't be able to get it on and off the bottle. For the large size container, just run your rope through there, tie a knot in the end, and that's going to be good enough to hold it. Then you can have this be any length you want of course, with your weight on the bottom. Now that we've taken care of the top, what are we going to put inside these things? And that's where we get to the dollar store secret sauce. You can go to the dollar store and you can get either temporary or permanent solutions. The temporary solution are these light sticks that you can buy three for a buck. And they come in a number of different colors. And I'll talk about what color not to use here in a minute. But probably the best deal at the dollar store is this flashing LED wand. You can see that it's just the perfect size to fit inside a 16 ounce bottle. And that's why you want it to be waterproof because you don't want water getting in here. The advantage of this particular one is that you can actually replace the batteries. You can get things like this over at Walmart, but they're dimmer and you can't replace the batteries. Now, something you should never use is a blue light like this, especially a flashing blue light, because blue is a color reserved in the marine guidance for law enforcement. Likewise, you don't want to use a flashing white light because that is a distress signal. It's supposed to flash so many times a minute but no one's going to count that. They're going to see a flashing white light come over and that's going to burn your spot. So avoid blue and avoid flashing white. So let's go outside. Well, actually, let's go look, just look at a dark spot here and then we'll go outside uh, tonight and I'll show you how these light up in the dark. You can dry run all the different choices to see if they're going to be bright enough for you to see when they're deployed. So 
here's the red stick and here's just one of those little skinny things from one of the necklaces well let's go look outside and see what's the best color okay it's dusk right now let's go ahead and look and see what these light sticks look like outside the bottle so there's the red color there's the yellow that's clearly brighter if that's an issue for you and here's one of those necklace pieces so there's three options it's pretty obvious which one is the best choice stick with yellow and here's the wand that I got from the dollar store you can see it has plenty of options there's the wand inside one of the containers let's pop it in the water and see how it looks well the camera doesn't really pick it up very well but I could see that now let's use one of the light sticks we'll go with the bright yellow that seems to be the best color there's another view of them as you can see I think they would both work and if you needed the one with the light stick to be brighter you could just add light sticks to it there you go a solution to a marker boy at night just put the right length of cord on the end of it the appropriate weight to keep it from drifting and you're all set if you guys have some more ideas for how to have a lighted marker boy at night throw them in the comments and I really appreciate Blizzard sending me the uh, comment in an earlier video and asking the question because it allowed me to make another video. Take care.